Can a single tiny seed spark the rise of an unstoppable empire? A desolate, unforgiving land where food is a precious rarity. Will war ignite or will peace hold? Who will emerge as the ultimate survivor? Welcome to the world of Entrek. First things first, we need a solid foundation. To keep the environment stable, we'll be using three main materials. Coconut fiber. This stuff is like a cozy blanket for our ants. It holds moisture super well and stays nice and soft, making it easy for them to dig their tunnels. Honestly, they can't live without it. Sand, the MVP of our setup. Rocks, because a real desert isn't just endless sand. We need some rugged terrain. A few rocks here and there to create mini canyons and perfect little hideouts for our tiny adventurers. Hey guys, check this out what a perfect scene. If I were an ant, I'd be sprinting across this sandy paradise right this second. I keep wondering if my Messerstructor colony likes it here. I feel like something's missing. Drop me a comment if you see anything. Introducing the Legendary Tunnel, a path of life and death, where warrior ants will march forth from their humble abode to the scorching semi-desert front lines. Just kidding, this is just a regular OL pipe you could probably snag down at the hardware store without breaking a sweat. For our warrior ants to travel between their nest and the battlefield, we need a way to connect them. Introducing the Legendary Tunnel, this isn't just any plastic to bits the path of destiny. The lifeline where our brave and soldiers will march from their homeland to the semi-desert frontline. Enter our hero with radar-like antennae. This little guy will determine if this place is safe. But don't get too excited just yet. This forest isn't empty. In the distance, a new land begins to appear. But is it truly a paradise? Will this be the promised land or a path of no return? Stay tuned because this story is only just beginning. A sign of a perfect land, the Messer structure ants seem absolutely thrilled to explore their new territory. Whoa, this soil is unbelievably soft and fluffy. Unbelievable, right before its eyes lies a treasure trove countless tiny seeds scattered all around. Could this be the paradise they've been searching for, or just a sweet trap waiting to snapshot? Wait, what? Messer structure primarily feeds on seeds. This sets them apart from many other omnivorous ant species. They gather seeds from various plants oh, and whoa. store them in their nest for long-term use. Okay. Many people call them farmer ants because of their clever ways of processing and preserving their precious harvest. Did you know why some ants of the same species have big heads while others have small ones? It's because their colony has a class system. Small worker ants gives tiny heads, super speedy, expert seed transporters. Soldier ants gives massive heads, insanely powerful mandibles, the fearless guardians of the nest. Pretty cool, right? These seeds are nice and plump, solid little guys. Why are they just lying here? Did the wind blow them over? Who cares as long as there's food? Just grab it and take it back to the nest. Guys, hurry up! It's getting dark! So much work to do, and you're standing around gossiping. Look at this little guy struggling with that seed. He's got a long journey ahead. When it finally makes it back to the colony, the other ants quickly grab the grains, neatly organizing them into every little corner of the nest. Almost there! Can't stop! Do you admire the ants' hard work and autolinus? I mean, they've got this non-stop, efficient, and totally coordinated system going on. It's like a tiny ant factory where nothing ever gets messy. Everything seems to be going just fine. Every little ant is working super hard to carve out their own slice of the good life. But, in nature, it's a tough place to survive. Out of nowhere, they appear. The tiny messer stands frozen, eyes wide. Whoa, these guys are huge. That head looks scary as heck. These giant aren't like any has faced before. But these aren't just peaceful farmers. 
These are real warriors. Meet Compo Notice Largiceps, also known as the Carpenter Ants. With jaws sharper than knives and immense strength, they don't just hunt, they wipe out entire colonies. But wait, who are these Compo Notice Largiceps? Stay tuned, I'll give you the lowdown on these behemoths in another episode. Trust me, they're fascinating, but for now, back to the battle. Yo, guys! Get over here! These messer ants are trying to steal our loot! You guys are just the latecomers! Better scram! It doesn't matter who came first. What matters is, whoever stronger gets the food. Oh, really? Let me teach you a lesson. One messer gets grabbed. Compo notice jaws snap shut. Messer tries to retaliate. Quick, everyone, surround the biggest one. Let's take him down. Compo notice drags Messer across the ground, but still doesn't give up. One Compo notice flings three Messer ants aside. Weakling's trying to show off. The situation grows more and more hopeless. Messer ants are being overpowered. One by one, they're knocked off the battlefield. Without reinforcements, this battle is as good as lost. Victory belongs to Compo notice. <laughs> or does it? Wait, what? From the shadows of the Messer colony, a surprising force appears. A group of over 10 Messer warrior ants, bigger, stronger, and meaner. They charge in with terrifying speed, bringing a pheromone storm that screams. The tide of the battle turns in an instant. Compo notice is overwhelmed as a few Messer ants latch on, preventing any movement. One Compo Notice is dragged down to the ground. Messer ants team up to clamp down and bite. It's over in a flash. What? What's happening? The remaining Compo Notice ants panic, unable to keep their formation. Retreat! We've taken too many losses. The surviving Compo Notice ants flee, leaving behind their fallen comrades and the precious food. The Messer army surrounds the treasure those sweet, sweet seeds. They raise their heads in victory, releasing pheromones that spread the scent of triumph across the battlefield. From a distance, the defeated Compo Notice Ants can only watch bitterly. What do you think of this battle? If Compo Notice had reinforcements, do you think the tide would have turned? Our team is number one. Now, let's get this loot back to the nest. Can you feel the tension in the air? A dry breeze sweeps through, signaling that a new challenge is on the way. Good omen or bad? This dry breeze might just be the beginning. Perhaps a sign for a bigger story. What happens next? A sandstorm? A predator emerging? Or a survival struggle on the horizon? If you were writing this encounter, how would you play it out? Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. The food fight when survival relies on the tiniest seeds. Check out this video for more, and I see you in the next one.